Hey, I'm Scott, also known as the Orange Shirt Guy, and uh, what we're going to do today is replace a worn out AC line uh, insulation. It's not meeting code because you can see some areas right here where the copper is showing. And it's the same thing at the base. So we're going to cut that off, being very careful not to nick or cut that because it is uh, pressurized. And let's go ahead and start that. I have a new insulation that we're gonna put on it once we cut the old one off. A trusty razor knife. Right, put a new blade on today. Get some of these leaves out of here. And I'm just going to take our time. Might be even better just to peel it off. I cut like to the side so I don't hit it. Just take your time. This insulation isn't meeting code. And they sell it at Home Depot, the new insulation. It's not that expensive. It's not that difficult of a job to do. It's a really good do-it-yourselfer. I'm not a heating and cooling guy, but this is uh, definitely something a do-it-yourselfer can do and save yourself some money. As I said in last videos, you always want to be cautious, cut away from yourself. These blades are very sharp. And I know I've cut myself in the past and wish I had taken more time so that didn't happen. There we go. There's the old piece. And I'm just going to inspect the line. And it looks good. Looks okay. This has two sided tape, one on each side where it'll go back together. And then we're going to put some twist ties on it as well to help hold it in place. But first, we're going to get a approximate length. And then we'll, we'll cut it. We want it nice and tight to the house. And to the unit. Right now I'm just getting a size. Let's see. I'd rather have a little extra than not enough. Just put my thumb on there. And I'm actually going to from my thumb go probably three quarters of an inch further. I'd rather have to cut it again than be short. So I lay it out. Just 
take your time. And I'm going to put the opening to the back and to the bottom, which will help keep out water. And the weather. I'm gonna just trim this edge a little bit. You know, maybe I'll use the scissors. Ta-da. Get me a nice fit against the unit. And I'm peeling off the plastic, covered the adhesive. And I'm pushing it together. So I did the bottom half and then I can, I'm going to put a zip tie in to help hold it in place. I'm not going to tighten this too tight because you take away the insulation value if it's compressed. Just I'm going to snug it up. There we go. That looks nice. Now, before I pull the other plastic off, I want to get my size. I want to trim it before I get too far ahead. Because I cut it a little long on purpose. Scissors worked a lot better than the knife. These are just some inexpensive scissors I got. And we're going to make, I'm going to trim these corners. So it fits nice against here. You can see they got that clay to keep the critters out and cold air out. I like it. Peel the rest of the piece of backing off. Working my way up. Trash goes in my back pocket. Don't leave a mess.
So the adhesive strip isn't that strong, so that's where our zip tie comes in. I'm going to include this line in it. It'll make it look nice. And we're going to trim these. You want to cut flush, otherwise make a sharp spot. So I butt this, this portion right up against the zip tie. See that has a, it's different. And that's how I cut, just like that. And now we're gonna put a little tape on it for good measure. We have some specialty tape for exterior use. Pipe wrap tape. 20 mil PVC. It's really good heavy duty tape. Well, from experience, I know if you cut a small section, it's easier to work with than trying to use the roll. And that one is not long enough. We're going to cut a longer piece. Everything's a trick. Like that. We're just gonna go, I don't know, every six inches or so.
This helps hold everything in place. That's more like 12 inches, but you get the idea. Make it fancy. Go every four inches. One of my favorite sayings is devil's in the details. Yeah, that looks better. I'm thinking we're going to cut a bunch of these. Save ourselves some time. One, two, three, four. Some people notice when you take the time, but certainly when you take the time, it looks so much more professional. And I'm referring to take the time to measure. Last one. I guess we're going to leave it there. So, I want you to take a shot over here of what we did. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.